The third annual National Affirming Pi Day is coming up March 14th. Why Pi? P-I-E. Public, Intentional, Explicit. Those three words are a way to remember how we want to be faithful people and communities who are actively welcoming and affirming to the Two-Spirit and LGBTQ communities. This year's Pi Day theme is, what's in your pie? Well, my affirming pie would have a cup of story sharing, two cups of careful listening, a tablespoon of hope, at least one handful of wonder, and just enough salt from the tears of remembering and celebration to make it real. Then I'd top it by the fruits of the Spirit and bake everything in the sweet, sweet crust of God's grace. What ingredients would you use? What kind of affirming recipes have fed your faith community? And what ingredients do you hope to bring together and cook up in the next year? In this case, it's recommended to have a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Find the other people who are interested in baking this pie and plan to get your church or community group together this year in online events. How about a, a workshop? A concert, movie night, open mic, a virtual bake-off, or anything you can imagine. It's okay to start off with a bite-sized piece. My experience is that it'll lead to more. As for me, I'll be baking up something special too by challenging myself to learn something new, because that's a piece of being affirming too. Check out my recipe by visiting the link below. It's for tarte au sucre, one of my favorite Christmas memories. Alongside of that, I think I'm going to do some reading. There's a theologian named Lynn Marie Tonstad who has some questions about the ideas of radical inclusion and how it fits with intersectionality that have me scratching my head. This is going to be fun. Now, that may not be your thing, but I'd invite you to join with me in adding another new ingredient, small or large, to your affirming pie in the coming year. And join me in celebrating Pie Day with United Churches across the country.